Today we're going to bring a docking station, a USB Type-C docking station with an actual enclosure here for MBNE M.2. If you're going to see that, we're going to set it up today, but let's go ahead and review a couple things. You got two of the 3.0 connections, uh, USBs, Type-A and a Type-C here. And then you got a micro SD card right underneath and an SD card on the top over it, right? On the other side, you got two type C's, all right? And if we well, says PCN, it's very simple. You plug this into your computer and, and the monitor and everything else is going to turn on when it says PCN, all right? 3.0 again, HDMI. Then you have a RJ45 connection here, the LAN connection. And that's pretty much it. Now, included with it, they give you a a radiator, a small little radiator, very powerful radio radiator. They give you the actual casing for the radiator uh, and three thermal pads. So you can set up um, three different colors, right? Uh, you can sandwich it, but my recommendation is make sure you just put it over it, put this right over it. So what we're going to do, we're going to set it up on our on our docking station. We're going to play prep it up and then we're going to test out the speeds and what can it do? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, very important. You have to set up this part first in order to set it up on the docking station, all right? That's the only way you're able to marry them because I tried everything by itself and I couldn't. So just if you, in case you have that same problem, all you got to do is just put it first in here and it grabs on. Once it grabs on, just make sure you, you twist it just a little bit like that. See how I just did? And then it just twist it back, you lock it in place. So just to be aware, that's what you need to do on that one. Now, once you have it in place, you get to put your thermal tape and so forth because you don't want to cover this part. You want to make sure you have plenty of clearance too, right? That, that you can do that. But we are going to set this part up, that which you didn't right now. I'm just demonstrating how to do that. So let's go and put everything together and see how it works. All right, just to be aware, make sure you plug it in in the proper area where it says PCN. If you plug it in in the other type C, and will not work. So just be aware that you need to do that. Once we set that up, it's going to identify it here, if you guys can see it. Right now, it's identifying, but there's nothing there. So dismiss. we're going to go ahead and set this one up. And we're going to say Properties. And then we're going to format the actual drives. All right, so we're going to test out our, our our speeds on the actual drive. And we know it's a D drive. All right, so we're going to test our, our drive speeds, all right, with the actual, some software we're going to download and we installed. So we're, let's go ahead and change it here where it says instead of C drive, we're going to test out our D drive, which is the, we got the test result and we set up another monitor in the meantime. So the monitor is working very well. Our test results, if you guys can see them, 1033 right 1036 now different sequences that we see all the different speeds on it but the maximum speeds that we got was a with the thousand range which is not bad you know but for being a generation four it should have been a little quicker but because it's it's not the fastest m.2 there is in the market we should have got something like a 980 or a 990 uh samson's a little quicker but it does a job for retaining files and videos and so forth. And, and the system works very well with it. I integrate it with the actual video card and include it with the actual connection and, and include it with the actual HDMI that we connected. So very simple. All the things work out of the box. All right. If you guys can see out of the box, we got everything plugged in. Ethernet um, right here, category six, category eight that we have installed in here. And it's picking up very well. Speeds on the internet. Let's put us some speed tests here. My internet's about 500 by 500. So we're going to see if we can get something around there with the category six, uh, category eight, if you don't mind. It's a category eight cable and we're running a test right now and we got the five and five. So without the wireless, it's working very well. The docking station works very, you could put this anywhere in back of a TV, pretty much anywhere that you don't have a lot of space like I do here. This is a perfect uh, buy. So Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.